Hello everyone, Sweet Revenge here, and today I'm going to be showing you some s cool stuff, I guess. Uh, this is an automatic read form, and yes, when I say automatic, it means you stand here, and every five minutes it will collect the reads for you, and it will bring it down this waterway and right to you. It is uh, two non-sticky pistons knocking off the top two layers of read, with repeaters controlling all of them, all attached to a five-minute timer. This is just a dispenser, like so, with cobblestone in it, and I'll get a good shot of this so you guys can see how I made it. Um, you fill it up with cobblestone, you come over here and you're going to want to replace that redstone. Come over here and put down a repeater like so. As you can see when that happens it will knock this off. But you're going to want to uh, throw down a cobblestone which will cut that off. And now you have started the five minute timer. So once that five minutes is up, whenever the uh, block deletes itself, it will resend a current to this cobblestone generator and or this, this dispenser and knock down another um, block for that to go send off and you just stand here and it will do this every five minutes and you can just continuously collect reads um, over here I have a uh, prototype I guess you could say it's just a cactus hit a button and it knocks the top layer of cactus off problem with this one is it's still a work in progress because you will lose some of your cactus but it's pretty cool and you can do a lot more make that a lot bigger scale. Now let's head down here to my uh, wheat farm. This is an automated, not an automatic, but automated. I mean, you hit one switch and it will harvest all this for you and come into one little area. So I have um, redstone all through the walls leading up to these pistons up here, which are holding off the flow of water. Flip the switch, the water will be, re be released and the wheat will be harvested, as you can see. And it pops it all off and brings it all down here for you. And uh, you could, uh, this isn't really uh, capable, uh, compatible with a five minute timer just because you will have to replant all this you know, because there's no way to automatically plant uh, wheat right now. So it is just automated, not automatic. So as you can see, all this down, you can make these walls bigger. So as you can see, how those are up there, um, stuck up there, that won't happen. So when you're done, flip your switch. The water will cut itself off, and you can make this to a, like a, a grand scale of this. I mean, all you have to do is hop up here and then just replant them. I mean, you can make a huge scale model of this, like rows and rows and rows of it, and it's pretty nifty. Now we're going to head down here to my little basement area. Sorry if it's a little dark, but this is where uh, my mushrooms grow. Um, as you can see, uh, I don't know if you guys can see back there, but there are pistons back there. Same, same system, holding off water. And uh, I have these uh, these mushrooms up off the ground so the water will not uh, touch them. And you can also set this to a five minute timer because these will actually regrow on their own. So you hit the switch, the water will pop the mushrooms off and bring them down here. And you just sit there and collect them. Now I'd like to give a shout out to my friend GamerKnight107. He gave me the uh, idea for the uh, how to set up the reed farm with the uh, top two layers but I uh, implemented the five minute timer so uh, yeah this is it this is a uh, pretty uh, pretty cool for um, survival servers because you can get collect your stuff on a massive level um, they're pretty easy to make um, like I said if you come up here I can show you there's a I'm knocking off the redstone right now but uh, as you can see all you, all you do is is uh, you put redstone right along the back of your pistons with water right there and then you want to come down here and just uh, wire it up to a uh, into a little lever right there. It's pretty easy. And uh, same thing up here with all those pistons. There's redstone lining them. And again, I'll show you guys that five-minute timer out here. Again, as you can see, that's not this isn't that hard to make. So as you can see, just repeaters going up to the pistons. And this is how you make the five-minute timer. You guys just want to pause and take a look at that. Oops. That's how it's all set up. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you uh, find it useful. Again, I'm Sweet Revenge from the Shaft Handlers. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment, and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash shafthandlers. Have a good one, and enjoy.